Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is the Gaming Guy and today's video is going out a bit later than normal just because of the fact that I just wanted to put it out later. I don't, I don't know. I just wanted to put it out a bit later but this is sort of like the final one to the sort of items that you possibly haven't seen before or probably haven't seen before and at the end I'm just going to include a sticker unboxing or unboxing like £85 worth of stickers. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this, go through the 10 or so items and then unbox some stickers. I still have no idea what to put in the background, I'm still on the hunt for like a couple more towels and things uh, so for the time being it'll be blank until I get a couple more towels or something or until I can set something up for the sort of background to each video. So, anyway, let's kick off this list. We've got a lot of items to go through. I've just selected a massive variety of items for this, uh, for the accessories and for the tees or tops or jackets sort of thing. The title's probably going to be tees and accessories, but I do have one item that isn't that, but it's quite rare and you probably won't see too many of. Like, in general, you just won't see it. So, we're going to kick off this list with the Supreme Salt and Pepper Shakers. Really cool. They came out five five years ago, I believe, uh, spring, summer, 13, maybe full winter, 12. I'm going with spring, summer, 13, they came out, uh, but basically they're like a pair of hands that are sort of like, you could say that they're gesturing like a prayer sort of thing, uh, but they've got a nice little supreme at the bottom corner of each, and yeah, they're salt and pepper shakers, they came in three different colorways. Next on the list, because I'm going through accessories, then through tops, tees and whatever, we have the Supreme Franklin baseball gloves, or really just batting gloves, uh, that people or baseball players wear when they are batting. Now, when you obviously search up Supreme baseball gloves, you do not get these showing up first, you get the sort of Rawlings baseball mitt coming up. However, if you just search Franklin, uh, baseball gloves or batting gloves these will come up now I personally haven't seen a pair of these listed anywhere uh, however I will be looking into them to see how much they cost as they are pretty cool and you know it's an accessory that people probably don't mention too often in comparison to like the Rawlings baseball mitt uh, but yeah these came out as well okay next up you'll probably know this item but this is a baseball pennant it's the New York Yankees baseball pennant or Supreme New York Yankees collab baseball pennant obviously they've collaborated in the past with the new york yankees and this is one of the items that dropped a baseball pennant which is sort of like a mini flag you could just put it as i'm sure teams normally get pennants anyway when they win any championship or when they win a championship in baseball okay next up we have tall boy bags in short summary they're brown bags you know that people normally sit alcohol in I'm pretty sure just like yeah that's that's the basic way to summarize it uh, they came out in 07 I don't know which season but I believe they came out in 07 and yeah they're just brown bags that's that's the best way to put it next up we have rolling papers obviously for people who smoke or weed or whatever uh, Supreme release these which literally as it says they're just rolling papers so I don't know what else I could pretty much say for that, uh, but you'd need both the black and the red colorway or two of the red colorway to get it to say Supreme as it's split on either side. Okay, the next item is the Supreme Playboy Key. Now, I have no idea when this obviously was uh, released by Supreme. However, the, the basic way of it is that when people had to, like in the past, get into uh, Playboy clubs or for membership for Playboy clubs, you had to have a specific Playboy key with some sort of plastic on it or something that it has. Uh, that was your way of getting in. So in sort of homage to that, uh, like always, they collaborate with them. It was at some point in time that they uh, made these keys uh, just to pay homage to that pretty much is the, is the simplistic way to put it, which I think is pretty cool because, you know, that's like a 50, 60 year old sort of legacy of, a, of like a business that has gone through and they're doing their part with that. Okay, the next item is a Supreme uh, Braun uh, travel alarm clock or travel clock. Uh, yeah, they did a collaboration with Braun for a alarm clock. Uh, it looks very basic. Um, it, if, I, if I'm being honest, it looks quite like a basic clock, but I think it's pretty cool. It's just got a tiny box logo on it. And yeah, I have not seen one of these in a long time. The clock came out in spring, summer 15. It was about $40 or so. Nowadays, it's about 120 or so. Uh, but it's a useful item because obviously it's an alarm clock. And if you want a Supreme accessory, then you can pick that up. Okay, next on the list for an item that you probably haven't seen is the Supreme Box logo fridge magnet. 
simply as as is it's a fridge magnet that is just a box logo sticker basically obviously it's not a box logo sticker since it's a fridge magnet but that's all it is it's just the box logo sticker size and it's a fridge magnet okay next up we have the supreme harmonica really 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 dope item i think in my opinion like it's just a dope item a harmonica that's just i find that to be such a cool item to be honest so it came out in ss12 and yeah there's not really much else i can say for it uh i don't want to butcher the name so i'm just gonna say it's like ho ho hona hona i don't want to i don't want to butcher it i just don't want to butcher it but yeah they released this uh it's really cool item or accessory that came out and you probably don't really see them that often nowadays okay now we're getting into the sort of tease uh, tops you know that sort of side of things and the item that isn't really related to tees or tops but I just want to put it in anyway so the first item it's I've got a list so if I butcher names again that's just my bad so the first item it's a Mitzi Ganor however you want to say it tea uh, very rare tea to be honest and it looks like the, I like the design on it it's a cool design on it but it's actually a sample tee that was not released for like general release. Uh, so that's why you probably haven't seen it before. And a couple of these tees weren't released for general release as well. They were just samples. But yeah, that makes it onto this list because obviously it's a sample tee that didn't get a general release. Next up, I believe this is the 2006 uh, Alpine Stars jacket that Supreme did a collaboration with. Really dope just because of the fact that the massive Supreme text down the back. Uh, I believe it's also a Stussy collaboration as well but i'd have to look into it so yeah i've just pulled it up and basically it's a undefeated stussy uh alpine stars supreme collaboration and syndicate collaboration so that's a lot for one but yeah it's a really really dope piece obviously for people who ride motorbikes this is a pretty crazy supreme collaboration or supreme item that you could own but i'd estimate that it's quite expensive Next up, we have the Supreme Rogue State Tee. I actually have like no knowledge on this. I literally just looked into Supreme Rare Tees and this one came up. It doesn't give me like a date of when it re was released. It doesn't give me any other details about it. I literally just get that it's an item with the world map over it and it says Rogue State. That's literally all I can get for this item. So yeah, if anyone knows any more details about these items or if I messed up any of the years or anything, just drop that down below and also comment down below any other rare tees or items that you know of. Now, I won't be including like a load of box logos uh, for this list just because of the fact that you probably know of a majority of the box logos. So I've tried to find more bizarre tees or items that didn't really have either general releases or just samples. The next one up is the Rizzoli box logo t-shirt. Again, there isn't too much that I can find about this item. Uh, I just know that it was a collaboration for their 16th anniversary or so. Uh, and this is what they released. This item goes a bit off topic. Uh, however, it's a skateboard deck that never got a release. Uh, it's probably somewhere out there. But it just, it just never got a release. So someone might have it somewhere, but... This is an extremely rare skateboard deck. I want to put it in because it sort of counts as an accessory, uh, but I want to put this in because I didn't put it in like any of my other lists. Uh, so this is the Supreme Harmony Corin. I believe, I hope I've said that right. Uh, Kill Whitney deck. Uh, so like I said, it did not get a release. There was no release for this. Uh, they just took it completely off the shelves. Like it just wasn't even an option. And yeah, someone might have it out there somewhere, but I would not know what its cost would be. So that's why I just decided to put it in the list. So another item, uh, I've mentioned this in a past video and so is my brother. This is for the tees. It's just a dope tee and I wanted to put it in. It's the Sopranos box logo tee. Obviously the R is a gun instead of being the letter R, but obviously it's still shaped like it. I just wanted to put this in because it's just such, such a dope tee and... It's extremely rare and it, it's just such an iconic sort of piece that they released. I just think it just had to be on this list because I know that some people might not have seen it. Uh, but it's just a really cool tee. Next on this list, again, this is a tee that I had to do some searching for. It ended up coming through High Snob Society. And it's the Supreme Andre Molokin or Molodkin uh, t-shirt. Now, basically, uh, the artist uh, Andre has obviously collaborated with Supreme. 
but in 2003 they were going to do a collaboration uh, for a box logo tee with a picture or like a art piece of Meg Ryan on it. Now there are only two samples made just in general there are only two of these made and that's why it's on this because it was a sample that was never like generally released uh, and one of the pieces or on High Snob Society they said that one of the pieces sold for about $15,000 a couple of years ago so obviously like it's a very rare piece and if you come across this if it's legit obviously it is going to be worth a lot of money but there are only two out there so your chances are like it just extremely slim or you've just got no chance and you might as well just look at the picture and just appreciate the picture the next tee is an obvious another box logo tee. I was going to put the Supreme Scratch box logo, but I think that most people might have seen that. So instead, I'm going to put in the Supreme Hebrew box logo tee, uh, just because I think it's a really nice tee. And yeah, it's a couple, quite a couple of years old at this point, and most people like the Sopranos might not have seen it yet, but if you have, then you've obviously you know what it is. Uh, or there's the Scratch box logo tee. Uh, I'll throw a picture up as well of that. Uh, which is again another nice tee but it's obviously just a box logo that's been completely or nearly completely scratched out. For the last item on this list we have the Supreme Ramo Z. I went over this artist uh, creating obviously the skateboard decks a couple of years ago uh, and they also released a tee or some tees with Supreme. The one that I'm including is the Rip called Rex tee but I also include the other tee which is the Gash Gash Ole, Gash, Gash Lear, something like that T. Uh, so I'll include that as well. And then there's also one more, which is some something the insane. Um, I, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I've seen it before. It might be vain, vain insane, or something like that. Vain the insane, maybe. I don't know. But I'll put it a picture up on screen while Ed seen this, uh, because obviously they did the collaboration with him in the past his designs were also then released on tees so yeah that's why they're on this list because you possibly might not have seen them before before the sort of uh, sticker unboxing uh, takes place i forgot to talk about one tee or include one tee because i'd moved the tab all the way across the left which is the joan of arc tee a similar art style to the sort of Red Riding Hood piece, uh, but obviously it's just got in, I believe they call it their futuristic or future art something, uh, supreme text going along the bottom with Joan of Arc. Uh, so yeah, that's just one to throw in before the, uh, the unboxing takes place, so yeah. <laughs> okay, now without further ado, I have, trying to check there's no um, addresses, I have three uh, envelopes uh, including or containing stickers. So these stickers, the value is like £80 or so altogether for them. Uh, so I'm just going to open up, open them up here and then I will show close-ups. Like I'll, I'll, When I'm editing it, I'll, I'll put close-ups in of obviously the pieces. Uh, but I picked uh, a couple up of Depop, some off of Facebook, uh, just all over the place pretty much. Uh, some are the stickers that I mentioned in my You Probably Haven't Seen Before stickers video. Uh, and some you probably haven't seen before. Um, so yeah, let's just open this up and get them out. Okay, <laughs> I get that. That's a smart idea. So what this person's done to keep the envelope safe and to keep the stickers safe is that they cut up a Weetabix box and then they slapped that together so that the stickers would sit in between so when they were shipped, they were safe. Oh yeah, those are really dope. Okay. So obviously during the video that I, I, I did about the stickers, uh, I mentioned the cross sticker or the uh, Mo Black Moses Isaac Hayes sticker and then I also mentioned the uh, Red Riding Hood sticker. So I saw these as uh, they were listed with a load of others and I decided to ask the person and yeah, I picked them up. I think they're really dope stickers, like genuinely, they're just such cool stickers. I'll show close-ups of them behind, uh, but yeah. I thought that because the price was only like £14, uh, they had them up for like £10 each. I thought if I sent an offer that I could get them, and I did. So they'll be going into my sort of stash bible, and I'll be keeping them safe. Okay, next up is another set of two stickers. Now, I'm actually getting one of these uh, legit checked by somebody just in case, because they said the price was uh, extremely good on one of them. 
So I'm sure it's all good because I'm sure people wouldn't sell like fake stickers to ruin their rep. Well, they might do, but you never know. Next up, it's a bit damaged if I am being honest, but it looks extremely damaged actually compared to how it was meant to be. But oh well, the first sticker is a PCL box logo sticker. Uh, this is the one where the person said that they might just need to check it for me just in case because there are a lot of fakes that people make of these. But yeah, there's the PCL sticker. The second one is the spinach sticker. This one you probably haven't seen before, but I just think it's it's dope. It says grow a pair, super in quality, whole leaf spinach. And obviously you can see the, the massive shine on that. So yeah, I just think that's just a dope sticker. In all honesty, that is just a cool sticker. So they'll be joining my collection as well. Now lastly, we have about 10 stickers here in this uh, packaging. Uh, they've really done it up well and I'd hate to rip anything so I'm just going to feel around and be careful and just tear the edge and double check that I'm not tearing anything no I'm not okay I've now got this open and it's all good and it's out cool again they kept the stickers really safe and they've also put them like bundled up together so I'm just going to pull them out and then they bundled them up again, which is also nice. They've also used like a packet of uh, like a, a cereal box as well. People are really smart with this sort of stuff. Anyway, let me go through them. So first one we have is the cross sticker. Again, I'll show close ups of them. But yeah, on the back, it obviously says in God we trust uh, incorporated. But yeah, there's the first one. The next up is the dead Kennedy sticker or dead Kennedy's sticker again with most of these stickers they were just really good prices so I just had to pick them up because some you don't like see appear again and if you do they might be double the price of what you could have got them for the next sticker is one that I've been after for a little while to finish my collection which is the taxi driver sticker uh, obviously I've got the taxi driver T and the deck so now I've got the sticker so I can finally make an Instagram post of them matching which is pretty cool the same also applies for this sticker, which is the Sumo T or Sumo T, the Sumo sticker. Uh, I've got the Sumo T, obviously, so I can make a little post of that as well, of matching sort of items. Uh, but this is obviously Supreme's first ad that they did or that they made. Uh, and yeah, that's why I, I really have been after that for a little bit of time. And because I bundled these stickers together, it just made it easier to pick it up for a couple of pounds instead of paying like seven or eight pounds from someone else. Next up, I already have one of these, but this is the MC Escher. But yeah, this is the MC Escher uh, sticker. I already have one, I believe, but it was only like two or three pounds. And for that price, they they don't appear that often. So it's definitely worth picking them up for, for like really good prices. And yeah, that's why I went for that. Next, uh, I also picked up the Not By Bread Alone sticker. Uh, I think when I saw this I was scrolling through because they had a listing on eBay I was scrolling through and I saw this and I thought it just looked really cool So I just wanted to pick that up because I thought it just looked like a really nice sticker And also the person who's going to legit check the PCL for me is the one who recommended that I pick up a couple of these Because their prices were really good so I really do appreciate him helping me out Because he obviously collects stickers a lot more than me and has a lot more expensive uh, sticker collection um, and his knowledge is obviously a lot better so I do appreciate him helping me out and just saying which stickers were good to pick up uh, Next I think this was only like two pounds again. It's a love supreme uh, Or a love supreme. I think again I just thought it was a cool sticker to pick up It was the last one they had of this one and I just thought it was cool to just go for it and pick it up finally the last uh, sticker which is funny because they're going to do a collaboration. Uh, during Fall Winter 18, they're going to do a collaboration with this individual. So I find that quite cool. Uh, it's the Cost Fucked Madonna sticker. Um, yeah, they, the, the person who was recommending me with the stickers and things said that this was a, a sticker that doesn't appear that often. It's quite rare, so it was worth picking up. And, you know, I just thought I might as well just go for it. So those are all the stickers. I'll probably put another video of them all up on screen now. And yeah, that pretty much covers today's video. If you enjoyed, like, be much appreciated. It's been a bit of a long one, but I just wanted to get a video out before tomorrow's obvious lookbook video, which will probably be about 40 minutes or so. Or I might even live stream going through it, which will probably be a bit better. I don't know. And then I could play my music in the background. I don't know. I'll see what happens. But anyway, if you enjoyed, like, be much appreciated. I might possibly do the live stream tomorrow of going through the lookbook. Or we will just, 
you'll just see a video come out about it and yeah that's it if you've picked up any stickers recently comment down below what you've picked up or if you've picked up any supreme recently drop that down below as well if you'd like to and yeah like comment subscribe i'll see you all next time peace oh well, that's a rip isn't it oh no come on oh well <laughs>